Coming up into these video guys, we have a really chunky earwax plug in this first patient, and we've got a really good example of some surfers here in the second, so some exostoses. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned for the second patient in this compilation. My name is Rhys Barber, I'm one of the audiologists here at Audiology Associates. Uh, thanks for watching our video today. And what you can see in this first patient's ear canal, they weren't feeling particularly blocked up, they weren't feeling uh, any hearing loss in here, but we can see we've got this really stiff, hairy, dark earwax plug in here. Uh, not completely blocking the canal, but you'll see this very, very thin, dry skin layer. So what you're looking at here, imagine is a thick layer of skin. It's all dried up, and then you've got this kind of smattering of wax over the top of it. So it gives it this kind of waxy appearance, but you can see as we're peeling here, it's just these thick, dead skin layers, this surface epithelial layer that's come off this canal wall. So we're just taking this piece away, I've got the fine end on here, and the reason I've opted for the fine end rather than the thicker zolna tube, or the wider, I should say, zolna tube, is because it gives you a bigger degree of control when you're taking these thinner pieces off. I've switched back up to the standard size, so that, uh, that wider zolna tube there, just to get that chunky bit off. But when we're doing these peels off the canal wall, you want that really, really thin tube to really get in there and just gently maneuver this off the canal wall. So we're just getting this uh, deeper section away here. Yeah. And look as we're peeling this back, you can see how, how almost crumbly or crusty uh, this has actually gone on the canal wall there. So we're just taking these few little pieces off. Now this is actually the inferior recess here. So uh, what we talk about when we talk about recesses, we talk about anterior, inferior. Uh, basically, as the ear canal reaches the eardrum, you get this sort of rise and fall to the canal wall. So as it rises up and falls back down, it creates this little valley. Now if it's towards the front of the head, that's your anterior recess. If it's right down the bottom, you get this inferior recess. Uh, and that's what we were just removing it from there. So they're almost like this sort of, this ridge, this hill. But look how this is peeling away now off this canal wall, looking so much better here already. Uh, just taking these thinner pieces off. Now, if I've got a very, very thin section like this, that is, is literally paper, paper thin. Now, sometimes I will leave it on there because to try and get that off, you've literally got to almost scrape the skin uh, and your patient's going to be on the ceiling because it's so uncomfortable if you have to do that. So I will kind of just hover over the top and just flick up the larger pieces there. And we've got this nice and clear now, just taking this last little crumbly bit off the bottom there. There we go, eardrum looking lovely and healthy. And look at this second ear canal. Now, this was the chunky wax plug I was telling you about earlier. Uh, this ear canal compared to the other, completely full. You cannot see around this at all. But the biggest difference here is this is much, much softer. So patient has prepared this ear. Why prepare this one and not the other? Because the patient didn't realize they had a problem on the other ear. And that's quite a common theme. You know, if, you, if you're not blocked up completely, if there's a small gap somewhere, the sound can still get through. Now, because this is that very sticky, soft, natured type of earwax. I've opted to go in here with a Jobson horn. Uh, we're just going to pull this through. So a Jobson horn, if this is the first time you're watching these types of videos, is what they call a curatage tool. So basically it's a manual tool for taking the wax out and it has this ring at the end. It comes in two variations. You've got oval and you've got round. Uh, just basically it's the shape of the, the, the ring at the end. It's got the ring so you can see through it as well. It just makes it a bit easier. I opt for an oval Jobson horn. I find them easier to use. Uh, a lot of the other guys on YouTube, I know they use round Jobson horns and all sorts of other bits and pieces. So we're getting this away really nicely, but look at the color of this wax, it's almost ebony. It's it's kind of well bordering almost like a cherry red, I would say this is. You've got these kind of very red flecks in with this very dark wax. I've introduced a little bit of olive oil in here as well, just because it is super sticky. So I want to be able to lift this off the canal wall. I don't want it re-sticking when I do that. So that's what the olive oil helps to do. So I'm working my way around the edge of this wax now, pulling these central sec or these, these outer edges into that central portion which then allows me a better grip to pull this through. Guys, don't forget to stay tuned for the second patient in this compilation. It's a really good example of surface or exostoses. Uh, and there's a bit of a difference here. Now, if you're regular viewers to the channel, uh, you'll be able to tell straight away this exostoses, but count the exostoses. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, and you'll see the difference yourself. Test yourself. See if you can remember what I always say about exostoses and surface here. Uh, exostoses, E-X-O-S-T-O-S-E-S. -S -E -S, just in case you're worried what I'm saying. I know the uh, automatic subtitle thing 
it gets completely thrown by medical terminology. Uh, so yeah, I'll spell that one out for you. So we've got a good grip on the outside edge here. We're just starting to work this around, give this a little bit more of a pull. I'm trying to turn it, I'm trying to twist the wax a little bit there to try and unstick it from this uh, this canal wall. But I can see it's quite firmly stuck here on the left-hand side. So let's see if we can unstick that first and then we might be able to get that lovely turn that we're looking for here. There we are, it's almost on its way. Don't forget guys, if you do enjoy the videos, you can always like, heart, share, follow and subscribe for me. And if you uh, have ear problems yourself, make sure you check out the link tree in the description on all the channels we put this out on and you'll be able to uh, reserve an appointment online if you follow the link tree uh, or you can give us a ring. Whether that be for hearing aids, earwax removal, anything ear related, guys, give us a buzz. Come and see us if you've got a problem. Don't sit on it. Make sure you sort that out. We're lovely, lovely people and we like to look after your ears. Uh, so we can see this plug now is on its way. It's yeah, it's got a little bit stuck here on the outside edge. So I need to give this a little bit more of a wiggle. Ah, it's not coming. So we've opted to use the St. Bart's. Don't come out very often the St. Bart's hook. This is another curatage tool. St. Bart's hook has a wider 90 degree angle at, uh, end. Great for hooking behind the wax and pulling this out. And that's what we've done here. There we go, out that comes. I think we give this a, even give this a little bit of a twirl at the end so you can get a good look at this one. But quite a chunky old plug, that one. Look at the eardrum beyond though, lovely and healthy. What are we looking out for? Smooth skin, shiny, pearlescent, slightly translucent. It is all of those things. So that is perfectly normal there, guys. Looking lovely and healthy. Just tidying up the edges here. There we go, out that comes. And there we go, five centimeters, bang on, two inches worth of earwax there that came out of that, uh, that particular patient's ear canal. And I've got to say, most of that came out of the second ear canal, as you could see as we were removing that there. Okay, so coming up in our next video, guys, is surfer's ear. Now, I hear the term surfer's and swimmer's ear is interchangeable. It was a lot, it was very interchangeable when I was studying 20 odd years ago. Uh, I think there's a bit more of a differentiation now. Swimmer's ear is where you get uh, infections and things following water. I would say that's swimmer's ear. Surfer's ear is where you get exostoses. These bony uh, sort of growths basically in the ear canal under the skin. So you get these lumps and bumps form. It's quite common uh, in swimmers, surfers, anyone who's exposed to water on a regular basis. Uh, they used to think it was exposure to cold water, but it was actually exposure to water and the evaporation effect cooling the skin. So what you'll see when you look in here now, you can see these exostoses left, right, and two at the top. So count them up, one left, right, two at the top, four. Now I've always told you in the past, the exostoses come in threes. So why have we got this extra one in there? Well, it, it can happen. If you've got somebody who's, who's pro, had prolonged exposure to water, your repeated exposure to water, you're not just limited to three. You can get the extra bonus exostosis in there as well, uh, which you can see here. But this is a really good example. Actually, there's one, two, three, four. There's actually five in there. Because if you count, you've got the one, two, and then a bit further on, you've got another one on the right. You have to go back now. Look, aren't you? Sorry. And the two at the top of the eardrum there as well. Uh, and it's really important that we keep on top of wax production in these particular ear canals. Why? Well, imagine if the wax formed the other side of those lumps and bumps. How are we going to get that out? It's going to be super difficult to do. And especially in cases like this one, when this wax comes out, I'm not going to spoil, terrible for spoiling things with people. Uh, but you're going to see this one coming out now as we get rid of this plug. It's super sticky. It's stuck on one of these uh, exostoses here. Let's give this a little bit more of a wiggle. There we go. It's coming away. But this is why it's super important to get this out on a regular basis, get this wax out in any skin debris, because look at that. Imagine they've got top behind this. You've got one, two, three, four, a little one just in the top right-hand corner as well, so five. Guys, if you're interested in exostosis, I've got a cracking video, uh, which I did a little while back, about 100 videos back, so I do look a, a tad younger and less gray at that point. Uh, but I'm gonna pop that up there. So I'm gonna, you're gonna have a little look for that now when, uh, when we pop it up here. But this is what we removed. So we've got one and a half centimeters, just under half an inch there, guys. Make sure check that video it's a good one uh but as always guys take care of yourselves take care of your ears and take care of one another and i'll see you again real soon bye everyone